my god, the proportions are so wrong! <laughs> oh, you do not know what children are like. You have not seen a child. Oh, you have definitely not seen a child. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Damn. Angelina. She was really evil from the very start. With black eyes, like a demon, a witch. I think you're supposed And yet you made out with her. Your relationship with her. No, that's not my subconscious. I'm remembering this encounter. Her face. What kind of mirror was that? And where was it? The crevice, remember? I climbed in there to help Angelina. There was a, a large room down there, and, and this mirror was in it. Perhaps it was a cave with an underground river, and the reflection in it was simply distorted. No, oh, I'm sorry, Doc. A few days ago, I would have believed you. But this time, I'm completely sure it's not just my imagination or, or some kind of trick by my subconscious. It really did happen. That looks like a bowl full of toffee, and I want it. For a moment. Dr. Winterbottom? Yes, he's still here. Where did... Can we... Yes, fine. I'll tell him. Hello, this is Big Shot Spooner. We found a corpse and want to arrest that Gordon immediately. Send him here straight away. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it was the constable. The inspector is waiting for you in the cafe. You should go there directly after the session. In the cafe? What? Is he gonna treat me to a plate of donuts? Why not? Adrian, it's time to make peace with the world. Why don't you start with the inspector? It's okay, Doc. Perhaps it's all a bit too much. The ongoing investigations against me, the continuous suspicion, the visions, the castle... It's crushing me. Because you want to do everything on your own. Let yourself be helped. By me, by the inspector. And why not by a butler? Yes, I think a butler would be just the thing for you. Oh, well, uh, hey, you the right Edward. Decision. Has anyone ever told you that? What decision? That a castle needs a butler? No, that you didn't become a pathologist back then, rather than a psychologist. I mean that decision, Doc. Oh, thanks, Adrian. See you later, Doc. <laughs> See you later, Adrian. You really need to stop smoking, ma'am. I wonder if the rest... But what if? Oh! Okay, random sir. Let's go kill me next! Hello, Madam Fortuna. Adrian, I knew you would call again. Who else could it be? Pick a card. Uh, stop. I've turned over the moon. That's what you sound like, too. The, the tarot card, Adrian. Your card. Why you can do this every time? Uh. You. you will have to transcend the boundaries. But you will receive a deep, intuitive understanding in exchange. That sounds a bit scary. Uh, I see. Death? Death. Of course. Again. You shatter. Ah. But there's a way, Adrian, for you to survive. Just one. Yes, I'm listening. Stay away from honey. Uh, yeah. Thanks. All right. What a load of crap. You say that every time, and every single time she's, like, warned you about things. Okay, random people. Hi, Adrian. Uh, hi? You get dumped? Uh, the 
worthy Mr. Gordon is honoring me with a visit. I want to deck you. Something? Sit down. Do you remember what happened last night? Only up to the punch in the face. Strangely enough, I have a mental block of what happened from that point on. Really? You stood up as if nothing had happened and just walked back to the castle. I followed you because I thought you might collapse at any moment. But nothing. You didn't even sway once. You took the knockout punch like a man. I wouldn't have expected that of you. Thanks for the flowers, Inspector. But in reality, I didn't cope with it so well. The black guy. Never mind. The most important thing is you can still remember what Tom said when he noticed you. You mean I'll kill you? I'll punch you in the face? By the way, you can report him if you want to. Sure, and for kidnapping too. No one believes me anyway. I already said three weeks ago that he kept me locked up in Wales. Until now, I assume that these abduction stories were made up. But Tom's reaction makes me wonder a bit. But more importantly, who is this Phil who Tom said you murdered? Ask Tom. I haven't been able to find him all morning. Oh, and now you want my help. Okay, Adrian. Perhaps I wasn't always that nice to you. The <laughs> understatement of the century. <laughs> Did I just hear an apology? Well, Phil's the guy who locked me up in his morgue a few days ago and, and wanted to kill me. I knocked him out from behind and took off. Uh, but I know he was still alive at that point. That means the corpse is still lying there. Where was this? In a house in the woods. Uh, I think it used to belong to a Dr. Heinz Herman. That sounds familiar. Listen, Inspector, how about I just take you over there? After you. Here we are. You're a really bad cop if you didn't, like, search the area. The door's closed, and we can't go in there without a search warrant. I think that only applies to you, right? Let me put it like this. If you were to enter this house without permission, I would have to make sure that you don't take anything. Ah, I get it. <laughs> Fun little loophole there. Hey, Inspector. The door's wide open. Well, who would have guessed? His lordship has a key. I'll have to take that as evidence. So... Oh. Okay. My inventory was too full anyway. You'll probably be interested in the torture videos, too. Torture videos? Yeah. Phil's got a whole secret compartment full. The... Gone. Perhaps your corpse was bored. Wait a minute. There must be one still in the video recorder. Turn that off. That's sick. Where's the guy who filmed this? I guess it was Phil, but, uh, but you don't see him, though. I'll take that tape as evidence. Good. I feel like you're finally okay. doing something. Corpse. The corpse has disappeared too? This is starting to get quite implausible. Don't you think? Uh, Tom must have been here. He, he tried to cover his tracks. That's why the other videos are gone too. Tom? Or you? I've got nothing to do with it. I'll prove it. Hey, Inspector, you might be interested in this. It's not Phil's corpse, but perhaps you'll believe me now? It must be dead at least a couple of weeks. And a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting quietly in the cell. Okay. Phil really does have something to answer for. And it would seem he's good at his profession. Otherwise, I'd have heard of him ages ago. I bet Tom's got something to do with this, too. First, we'll go back to the station. I'll send Zack over here to pick up the body. 
I've got something else I need to do. You're coming with me first. I need to record your statement. Fair. Damn. Oh! Stay where you are! Tom! So now I've got time to have a look at the stone circle, then. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself in trouble, bud. Oh, hey, I worked! That looks very promising. Some steps? I wasn't expecting such luxury. I wonder what's waiting for me down there. Ah, but... Tree roots, so I must be directly under the surface I don't want to fall. They're not going to help. I wonder if this cave was formed naturally. About four meters wide. Oh, it's not that deep at all. A few hundred meters, maybe. There are fluorescent things hanging over there. They look like huge glowworms. Oh, interesting. Tree root. Are those some kind of writing symbol? Some kind of uh, if I'm not mis- Uh, what? Okay. Do I finally take the ladder? Because that would be like a good- a good little crossover, right? The ladder would make it. Yes. Oh, it just auto did it. Okay. Oh, awesome. That makes climbing. Okay, get to the other side. Chat when you're on <laughs> when you're in safety. So what if we got? It looks like a kind of. Let's see if I can work any of it out. Some guy carrying a black ball. He's wearing a long robe or a dress. Then he lies down with the black ball, and some other guys wearing dresses stand around him. And here they're. Um, don't just a guy for wearing dress. The ball's head off. Wait, could it be some kind of burial ritual or an execution? Oh. I've seen one of these before in the academy. Angelina placed a black ball in. And then the portal opened. I think she'd stolen it from the museum. But now she's dead. Uh... She had the ball with her when my mother threw her to her death. I'll take a quick photo. Maybe I'll find someone who knows about hieroglyphics. Could it be my awesome psychologist? Really? You're gonna make sure that angle's right? <laughs> make sure it really works it for the camera? Hello. Hi! Hi, Doc. Adrian, what can I do for you? Uh, tell me, Doc, uh, have you had a look at the museum here? To be honest, no. I've never been, and I never will. It's probably better that way. Then, I guess you don't know anything about the black ball? I'm sorry, no. You're a bit quick to answer. Uh, look at this. What is it? Some kind of hieroglyphs, I think. Are you familiar with this kind of thing? With hieroglyphs? No. But I think I've got a book about it. Just a minute. Here, I bought this before my holiday in Egypt. Aww. But I've never read it. Perhaps there's something in there that interests you. Thanks. Bye, Doc. Look after yourself, Adrian. I make no promises. That could take a little time right now. 
Okay, then. There are a few signs which are in other languages as well. I'm definitely not going to find any others in here. I'm pretty sure that the script from the cavern is not in this book. Ah, pity. But it was worth a try. There's something here on the last page. Dr. Winterbottom, thanks for the loan. The text was very enlightening. Best wishes, Edward. Oh. I think Edward is a bad guy. He was trying to live in the castle. There's a whole lot of nothing going on here. How does he borrowed the hieroglyph gone? books? Oh, I don't trust it. Box. For the bereaved, it says. <laughs> yeah, sure. And the camera. So Murray can see whether people donate from the comfort of his own home. Various pamphlets. The river died. But nothing really in all of the pamphlets, sadly, there's hardly any. I think there's a label on it. <laughs> there is. He'll understand. <laughs> it's got diary of a murderer written on it. There was a mistake. The chains and me. Dr. Heinz Hermann's bone saw you. Here we can see a typical Willow Creek tourist couple, probably on a roll. A replica of Miss Valley's burnt corpse. Oh, that that's in really, really poor taste. Good taste. Couldn't someone sue Murray for such tastelessness? I Yeah, actually, I, totally I think they could. Find more shocking that Murray's made replicas of Dr. Herman's severed head or that someone has bought one of them. Who the hell buys this crap? Great question. Are those plaster casts? If they'd been available. What does it say there? I love blood. Oh, that's weird. Okay, yeah, no. Excuse me. Goes with me. Svetlanushka, look. They even got the Darren Michaels lookalike. Uh. Fantastic. They look so much like the real thing. What do you want to ask you, Russia? Uh. I hope you're not gonna miss the black ball. Unfortunately, it was stolen a few weeks ago. Yet we saw last time here. We are here just for corpses. It's done very well. Watching Gracie. Oh my god. Wait, are you the I'll same couple? The on. I thought the others were Germans and I think you guys are Russian. Would you mind I could be wrong. A little survey? Uh, we're planning a new exhibition about ancient dark powers that have been doing evil I think they're supposed to be the same couple though the lettering maybe not suited what do you think about these kind of hieroglyphs what the kaya chunya it looks like children's book from Egypt no horror boring more death duh I'm <laughs> sure we can manage that thank you um, enjoy our museum. We do that. Spasiva. Spasiva. Okay, yeah, you're Russian. Spasiva, thank you. The note says that it's been removed da. from the museum by request of the Gordon family. The system for the sound effects. The pictures are of the murder scenes. This is the lighthouse. Oh, no. That's Vic Valley. He was found dead in a stone circle. To hopefully, his sister never. Well, hey, that the American. All that's missing now is a bound. The lighthouse. That's the back of black. The sensational part of the museum used to be behind this wall. No idea why Murray walled it up. Mm -hmm. The stone thing I'm gonna have to break into. Spikes on the inside. My father, Samuel Gordon. I never met him, but somehow I can understand him now. Ew. If Herman hadn't been... That's the fence that William Gordon... An old bureau. Hi. Uh... Huh? The sign? Please... 
don't talk to the staff. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. Guy, probably not even a real cop. Weird. All right. Well, uh, Edward. I have some questions. I better not. Edward. Sir? All on your own today? <sighs> Denise is ill. But wasn't she here this morning? Yes. She went down with a virus all of a sudden. Might that be the uh, Conrad Spooner virus? I think it's got plenty of names. Whatever the case, it doesn't just make you unfit for work. It makes you unfit for marriage, too. Oh, very sorry, she preggers. Well, it's not infectious. I assume preggers. Have you ever been in the lower Or maybe museum? just an STD. I'm very interested in museums of all kinds, especially ethnology and history, sir. But this thing here in Willow Creek really can't be described as a museum. It's much more of an um, omnium gather them of unworthiness. You've been in it? Yes, a couple of years ago, when there were a few real exhibition pieces in it. Hmm. You're interested in ancient history? Quite true, sir. You could say it's a hobby of mine. I've been collecting ancient coins from different cultures for years now. You build up quite a substantial knowledge doing that, you know. Fantastic. Could you take a look at this and tell me what you make of it? Oh, yes. I've seen the script before somewhere. It's uh, druidic. Very old. Can you read it? Hmm. Reading might be an exaggeration. It's more a kind of pictorial story. I think it's a description of a burial ritual. Mm. Yes, that could well be the case. Here, the dead person seems to be some kind of ecclesiastical person. A priest, if you will. You can see that by the crooked star. That symbol was often used for spiritual leaders. And he has a black ball in his hand. Are you saying that it could be like one of those that was in the museum? Oh, you could even be right there. If that's the case, then I'm not at all surprised it was stolen. It would be worth a fortune. Might it be possible that there are more of them? I wouldn't exclude that possibility. If it's some kind of a burial gift for priests, then there could be a chance you'd find one under a burial mound. Mm. The last time you were in the museum, did you ever look at that black ball? Yes. Apparently, it was the only thing of any value in there. That's why it got stolen. However, I still ask myself to this day what it was supposed to be exactly. It was too dark for a kind of crystal ball like fortune tellers use. What's your opinion? Well, it certainly wasn't a bowling ball. <laughs> uh, you mentioned a burial mound. Fair, I Is guess. There one around here? Oh, yes, sir. There are supposed to be one or two around here. At least they discovered some a few years ago. It was even in the paper. Ah, now I remember where I recognized the hieroglyphics from. There was a photograph of the tomb in the paper, along with the research team. These kinds of hieroglyphics were engraved in the rocks. A research team? Damn. I bet they cleared out the tomb completely. You would think so. But you could... I could what? Excuse my tactlessness, sir. Miss Valley. She was involved with the excavation. Mm -hmm. A group of archaeology students were here in this area looking for pagan relics and they discovered a burial mound quite by chance. It was quite an exciting event. And um, who else was involved in this enterprise? Nobody I knew, I'd regret to say, sir. Thanks anyway, Edward. You've helped me a lot. Sir, would you happen to have a moment's time? Yeah? It's rather unpleasant for me to mention this so brashly, but Dr. Winterbottom said I ought to do it. Now, as master of Black Mirror Castle, would you happen to have any staff requirements? <gasps> You're gonna be my mates! Huh? Uh, what's gonna happen to the cafe if you're no longer here? Oh, don't worry about that. Denise's father already has a new business idea. And I, um, 
don't believe I'm the right sort of chap for it. Is that so? Isn't the cafe doing so well? What could do better here in Willow Creek then? An undertaking business. Funeral. Oh. Huh. Of course. I should have thought of that myself. But I really don't know if I can actually use a butler. I need construction guys or a demolition company more urgently. It is precisely a butler's job to look after such things. Maybe you're right. Well then, why not come up to the castle tomorrow sometime? Then we can give it some more thought. Thank you very much, sir. Take care, Edward. I'll do my best, sir. Oh, he's such a Bates. I love him. I love him so much. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? I found a bear trap in the woods. Are those kind of traps even allowed? I know there are hunters out and about all year round, but I'm sure they don't use bear traps. There aren't any bears in England. What are the traps for then? And who set them? Maybe the bears have laid some to catch the hunters. <laughs> You've got a logical explanation for everything, haven't you? The most important thing for oh, you I is like that you don't that. have to waste any time having a proper look at things. Hmm. That's what it looks like. Were you involved with the search at Miss Valley's house? Yes, but I'm not authorized to tell you anything about it. Goodbye, Constable. Hmm. Inspector Spooner. Little Lord Adrian. What can the village Bobby do for you? Are you trying to suck up to me, or are you pulling my leg? You choose. Have you arrested Tom? He vanished into the woods. We'd started a search. This black ball that was stolen from the museum. You want to give it back? That'd be very nice, of course. So it hasn't turned up again? No. Hmm. Have you seen anything like this before? Something similar in the cells on the wall. Really? There are supposed are you just to be burial being a butt? mounds in this area. Do you happen to know where any of them are? You've just inherited a castle. Now you want to move again? Couldn't you give me just one decent answer, please? Ah, well, if it means so much here. Yeah. No, I don't know where you might find a burial mound. Might you possibly be able to, to give me a tiny bit of information? Really? I can't wait. You searched Miss Valley's house, didn't you? Did you come across any kind of archaeological notes or, or drawings while you were at it? Zack? Hmm? Shouldn't you been off on the beat long ago? Uh, sir? I, I don't trust no, this. Adrian, I don't I feel safe. Feeling that our, let's call it a relationship. It's got rather bogged down of late. You're constantly coming to me with some new request. It's always me who's supposed to give you something. I'm thinking it's time we changed all that. Would you like to come with me to see Doc Winterbottom? Do some couple therapy? Nice idea, but I've got something else planned. As you perhaps already noticed, I sometimes tend towards making quite hasty judgments. That's one of the reasons they redeployed me here to Willow Creek. I'd actually imagine my life as a police inspector somewhat differently. Pursuits, shootouts, explosions. <laughs> You're looking into my very soul. But without some clear evidential success under my belt, I'm not going to be getting out of this dump all that quickly. And what with your circumstances having sadly changed somewhat? What's supposed to have changed there? I'm innocent now, just like I always was. But now your nobility as you have so strikingly noticed. And here in good old England, that is a good reason to treat things with more of a feather-like touch. Or to put it another way, an error in such a case would definitely not be good for my career. H have I got this right? You're crapping yourself because I own a castle now. <laughs> Perhaps it's still not too late to forget the whole thing and close the case. But to do that, I have to present the judge with something meaningful. Is that a polite request for a confession? Are you kidding me? No, no, you misunderstood me. 
The thing with Tom and that filth is already a good start. Also, Murray has corrected his statement and given you an alibi for the Miss Valley murder. It seems to like you'll want that bloke. But there's still this Lewis and Angelina woman. They're officially missing. But someone who's missing also can be a perpetrator. You do see that. I mean, they did ah, it. Was speaking the same language. I asked. told you. What's happening with Miss Valley? So many house times house? that they did it. There? We only found some photos of you, and we also took a few other things relevant to the case. If you think you can find something there that might bring this case to a close, then I'll let you have a look around the house. Yes. Are we partners then? Not the expression I use. Hey, but this conversation never took place, okay? Zach will go with you, and I want to be informed about everything. Of course, Inspector. Okay. Goodbye. Fare thee well, my lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, where she live, though? Shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you! If you'd like to support the show, check out my Patreon page and my Redbubble store. Links are included in the description down below. That's right, I got swag. Swag is in merch, not swag is in swagger. I'm still a nerd. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!